I'm going to show you how to import images into Cloud Start Motion. So I have a new project here, but you could be doing this in an existing project. You go to the camera button and along to the import images icon, select images, choose the pictures you want to put in. It tells you that we've got 16 images selected and they're approximately 22 megabytes in size. I've got the option to downsize large images. So if my files were particularly large, if they were taken with a DSLR camera, for example, I can select this and it will reduce that each image to a width of 1280 pixels and a height of 720 pixels. I can also choose to repeat or hold each image. And um, so this would just put two of the same picture on my timeline for every picture that I'm importing. And I can change this as well. It's not what I want to do for this video, so I deselect. Then when you're happy, you press start import and the images are imported, imported into Cloud.Motion. You've got this preview here, so you can have a look and see what it's going to look like. If you're happy, then you just choose where you want it to go into your film. So we can either insert the clip at the current position in your film, so that will be wherever the red play cursor is on your timeline. Or you can choose to insert it onto a new video track, um, or you can choose to insert it at the end of your film. I'm going to pop it where the red play cursor is and click here. So now all of those images are down on my timeline. Um, I can just jump back to the start and press play and you can see what we've done. 